Hello, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity. And if you are a longtime viewer or subscriber to the Simpletivity YouTube channel, you will know that I recommend Trello as the best way to manage or organize your projects. Whether you're working with several other individuals, if you're working on a team project, or if you're just managing your own personal to-do list, Trello is such a flexible tool, such an easy tool to use to manage everything that you would like to organize, everything that you would like to accomplish. Well, I often get asked the question, how do I set one of my Trello cards as completed? If I have finished one of these tasks, what do I do once I've completed that task and I want to show or indicate that it's completed? Well, today I'm going to show you some of the more traditional methods of how to do that and then also introduce you to a brand new feature, something that was just introduced a few days ago, how you can set a due date to complete it. So let's start off with some of the more traditional ways that people have used to show a card is completed. Probably the most basic one is to just archive the card and that's for users who really don't want to see the card on their Trello board anymore uh, by archiving a card in Trello you can always search it you can always go back you can always bring it back to your main Trello board but sometimes the most effective way to show that a card is completed is just to remove it altogether. But I realize that is not the best solution for everyone. And often people would like to see it on the same screen. Maybe you get to the end of your day or the end of your week and you want to be able to review all of the things that you've completed that week. So an alternative option is to create a separate list. And you can see here, I've created a done list. So if I've already emailed Jane about this particular situation, I can just drag it over to my done list. If I've gone ahead and booked this flight for my Chicago trip, I can just drag it over to the done list. And this is very much the Kanban method of you know bringing a task or moving a task through a particular process. So once I've finished it, once I've completed that to do, I can just drag it over into my done list and I can view them there. I can review you know what I've accomplished and then maybe at the end of the week, uh, once I've done my review or once I no longer need to have these things in front of me, perhaps I can just archive this entire list or just archive these tasks individually. The third method, and I would say probably one of the more common methods that people use to indicate that a card is completed, is by using labels, by using the different colored labels that Trello makes available to you. And of course, you can go beyond just having a color, you can actually put a piece of text on that color as well. So I've already gone ahead and put it and put completed on the red shade. So when I set, when I add this to this card, it's going to add a little uh, red bar there when I'm viewing my entire Trello board. And if I click to open up that card, you can see I even have the text to tell me what that color means. And that can be very helpful if you just want to manage uh, fewer lists or if you want to keep those to-dos in just a single list. You can just add that color, uh, letting you know that you've completed that particular task. Well, just recently Trello introduced a new way of indicating that a card is completed if you use the due date feature. And the key thing is, is that you need to have a due date associated with a card in order for you to use this completed feature, this new feature enhancement. So if you're dealing with tasks, if you're dealing with project items, if you're dealing with to-dos, chances are you probably have some type of due date associated with it. So I'm gonna first start by adding a due date to this card. I'm gonna hit save. And here you can see, as per usual, we have our due date listed here on uh, within the card, but you'll see that there's something new. There is now a checkbox just to the left of it. Now, I'm gonna before I click that checkbox, I'm just gonna click outside of the card. Let's see if anything has changed on the front. And you'll see on the front, it looks exactly the same if you've added a due date to a card. You have the date, you have the little clock icon telling you 
that this particular card is due by December 16th. But now if I go ahead and I complete this task today, I can check this box and now my due date area, my due date uh, icon area here has changed to the color green, indicating that I have completed that task. And of course that green shows up on the front of the card as well. So longtime Trello users will notice that green is a new shade for the due date area. You could have a yellow shade if you were getting close to the due date, if you were within 24 hours of your selected due date, that you may be used to a red shade when it's past due, when you've said something, or when you've set something and, and you've passed that due date. But now, by selecting this checkbox, it will change whatever color it is, whatever state it's in, to green, indicating that that task is finished. So now I can quickly review um, all of my tasks here on this list and see which ones have been completed. Now, a few things you may want to note. I'm gonna open up this card once again. If we scroll down to the bottom here, in the activity feed, you will notice that it is not keeping track of this checkbox. That if I uncheck the due date, or if I check the due date, it is actually not keeping a record of that action. You can see that um, I added this card to the to-do list, and then I set this card to a to-do date of December 16th, but there's actually no record as of yet as to when I have completed this task. So, you know, that could be a problem or it could be something that uh, you may be disappointed in with this particular feature is that if, if you've completed this task early um, or even if you've completed this task late, let's say it was after this due date, currently Trello is not keeping a record of that action. Now, I'm assuming that this is something that Trello will be adding relatively shortly because we can see this behavior show up uh, in other areas. Let's take an example of a checklist. I'm just gonna quickly add a checklist to this uh, particular card. And it'll say that, yes, I just added a checklist. And if I check this first one here, this questions one, the first one on my checklist, you will notice that Scott Friesen completed questions on this card. I'm going to check the next one. Scott Friesen completed. Review the contract on this card. So the ability to record these uh, individual tasks or, or these uh, checklists here within the card are being kept track of. So obviously the capability is there and I'm going to assume in short time that Trello will start to record this particular action. Whether it's unchecked um, or checked, it will record when you've completed that task. But as of right now, it is not showing up in the activity feed. So, with this new feature in Trello, the ability to check a due date off, and remember, it's only going to be available if you've added a due date to a card. Not every task, not every to-do needs a due date. So perhaps you are fine with using a color-coded method. Perhaps you are fine with moving that card into a done or into a completed list. Or perhaps you just don't mind using the archive function and getting it off of your Trello board completely. But I would encourage you to test this out. Go and check out the new completed due date feature, giving you the ability to check things off in Trello. If you like this video, I would encourage you to like, subscribe, and comment below. What do you think of this new feature in Trello and how are you planning to use it? And if you have not checked out the simpletivity.com website, I would encourage you to do so. You will find many more tips and techniques to help you stay productive there. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.